In June 2022, I walked around Stocks Reservoir in the Forest of Boland area of outstanding natural beauty. Around six to seven miles long, this walk is voted number 67 in the top 100 walks in the UK. So let's see what it has to offer. I'm in the Forest of Boland today, not far from Sladeburn, doing a fairly short walk around Stocks Reservoir. Um, it's not an area I've really been to a lot before, so it'll be really interesting. It's not a lovely day. I must admit I've been lucky with the weather this week. You know, we start off by going away from the reservoirs, actually through the woods, which I think is part of Gisborne Forest. This bit's quite a delightful walk through the forest. I hear the birds singing. It's really peaceful, even though it's quite a popular path. We're out onto the open countryside again, the hills of Boland. You can see the reservoir behind me. We're sort of heading around the top end of it now. On the map, that is marked as a new house. It doesn't look very new to me, but assume it was a new house once, a long time ago. lovely around here. Not many people know about the forest of Boland and the trough of Boland area but some really really nice countryside around here. up a good track now over the moors. We're heading back down to the reservoir but again some glorious scenery. Looks like there's some kind of ruined house right over there on the hillside and there that must be the vast expanse of Gisborne Forest. We're parked somewhere in that lot. There's my first proper site of the reservoir, Stocks Reservoir. Water level looks quite low, but we've not had a lot of rain lately. Stocks Reservoir was created in 1932 by flooding the Dalehead Valley and the surrounding farmland, including the hamlet of Stocks in Boland. The village school, church and vicarage stood above the water level but were demolished along with many of the farms in the area to preserve the water quality. The church was rebuilt in a reduced size as we will see later. Beware giant mutant frogs. This is a memorial forest. It's a lovely idea. This is a peaceful setting as well. We've reached the bottom end of the reservoir now. Here's the dam. to see that end. It's the catcher. It's 
serious machinery there or well whatever you call it for enough options maybe This bit's gloriously open countryside. You see the hills and the moors surrounding the reservoir and the forest. Bit of a climb ahead now. I have a feeling we're climbing up to the road. And then if we just turn to the right, we'll better get down to that little church which is slightly off route but I think it's well worth seeing. When you come up the path to the road, you turn to right, walk down the road a little way, then you come to this lovely church, Dalehead Church. And I think they moved the church and the graves from the original site. But look at all those lovely wild flowers, those lovely buttercups. the inside. It's small but it's it's really nice. Lovely stained glass window. Really peaceful. It was definitely worth going in to see that little church. That uh, a couple of booklets of information. Basically, the church used to be where the car park is now. It used to be bigger, but they demolished it and used much of the stone and all of the fitments and the font and the, and the stained glass window to build that little church on the corner there. But because a lot of the congregation went, because a lot of the hamlets, such as stocks in an area known as Dell Head, were removed to build the reservoir then they didn't need such a big church anymore which is quite sad really but they even moved the bodies there as well apparently it was done really respectfully it was done at night but it was all all in the 1930s I think that the reservoir was built and the church moved but there are other buildings like a schoolhouse and an inn and a rectory that were completely demolished as well it's quite sad when you think about it whole way of life gone but I suppose that's progress they, they needed the water to supply the towns this is the avenue of trees which originally led up to the old church of St James And this, this was the Church of St. James, or what's left of it. It was actually above the level of the reservoir, but I just thought it might contaminate the water, so it was decided to demolish and relocate it. Shame though, it does look quite a lot bigger than the new church.
These stones, these date stones came from old houses that were lost when the reservoir was built. Right, and that's it. It's been a good walk. Quite hot, but not too demanding. Quite a nice walk, about seven and a half miles. It's been quite interesting. So, yeah, back home for a nice cool shower now and a cuppa.